So last week, Nintendo tweeted out of the blue, This is Miyamoto. I've been working on the live-action film of The Legend of Zelda for many years now. And, of course, everyone went insane. A live-action Zelda film means that we're getting real-life actors to portray these iconic, beloved characters. We're getting a big-budget Zelda movie to follow Mario, but it won't be animated, right? Miyamoto describes the Zelda movie as live-action, and this language is repeated on the official press release for this news. Live action generally means the use of real people and real animals in film, rather than models, drawings, or computer-generated imagery. The Mario movie, of course, wasn't live action. Mario was voiced by Chris Pratt, but his appearance was completely computer-generated. So, all we really know about the Zelda film is that, in contrast to this, it will use real actors. But that doesn't mean that the film will be shot on traditional cameras, with traditional sets and lighting. It's completely possible for this film to be live-action, while at the same time being completely rendered in a digital environment. Enter Wes Ball, the man penned to direct The Legend of Zelda movie. I mentioned in my last video on this topic that this man has previously directed the Maze Runner trilogy of films, and the upcoming Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Interestingly, this movie features an extensive use of motion-captured actors, or mocap, real actors whose movements and facial expressions are recorded by special cameras, then digitally transformed into the apes we see on screen. Motion capture technology can completely transform an actor while retaining what makes their performance special and human. Perhaps most famous is Gollum from the Lord of the Rings trilogy, or the Navi in the Avatar movies. These performances could still loosely be described as live action, as in using real, live people, even while the appearances of the actors involved are almost completely hidden by their digital costumes. In fact, Wes Ball himself has described films this way. In a tweet from 2014, he claimed that audiences were ready for a fully computer-generated, adult animated movie made with a strong live-action sensibility. Could this be the plan for the Legend of Zelda movie? Will director Wes Ball make use of mocap to create a digital Hyrule with computer-generated characters portrayed by real actors? Well, just ask the man himself. In 2010, Wes tweeted, Since I could never even hope to have the chance to direct it, the next big mocap avatar-like movie should be The Legend of Zelda. Yup, 13 years ago, long before the Zelda movie was even a twinkle in Miyamoto's eye, Wes Ball was dreaming about how Zelda could be the next big mocap blockbuster. He isn't just some suit hired to make a movie, he's a genuine Zelda fan. Wes Ball's passion for motion capture has persisted ever since. In 2018, he tweeted this video of actors on a motion capture stage, with the caption, Totally falling in love with mocap inside a real-time environment. We're not far at all from movies and TV being rendered entirely in Game Engine. And in 2019, Wes Ball released a series of tests exploring the use of motion capture actors in a real-time digital environment rendered in Unreal Engine. The tests were made for a potential Mouse Guard movie, so the actual actors involved have been digitally transformed into mice, moving and emoting inside the game world. The same is true for his 2011 short film, Ruin, a post-apocalyptic chase sequence again using mocap technology. Wes Ball isn't a regular director, he's an extremely talented 3D designer, with the dream to blend real actors with digital universes. He's had a particular interest in mocap for years, and is currently working on one of the biggest mocap-heavy films ever in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Nintendo will have approached the concept of a Legend of Zelda movie with extreme care, 
They are financing more than half of this film's budget, likely hundreds of thousands of dollars, so every decision will have been made for a reason. Is it possible that Wes Ball was chosen specifically because of his talent for mocap? And Nintendo are envisioning a fully CG, animated Zelda film using live actors. The truth is, we don't know at this point about what Wes Ball has planned for Zelda. His original tweet was 13 years ago, so it's almost certain that whatever vision exists for the Zelda film now is drastically different to his thoughts back then. If it does end up being a completely mocap film, it would be strange for Nintendo to specify that the film will be live action rather than some sort of animation. Perhaps we will see Ball's dream of a fully Avatar-style Zelda film, with a computer-generated Link based on a motion-captured actor. This would make the process of casting someone in this role considerably easier as their appearance could be transformed into something closely resembling his look in the games. But it's also possible that the human characters will be live actors with no digital alterations, and Ball's computerized style of filmmaking will be reserved for the world itself. Even if the more human characters like Link, Zelda and Ganondorf aren't mocapped, and the Zelda film still has to grapple with the issues of casting fitting actors for these roles, it seems almost guaranteed that other races like the Zora, the Gorons and the Rito will be, retaining their iconic designs in a realistic digital environment giving the team, and Nintendo themselves, complete freedom to control every detail of how these characters look and feel on screen. Bringing Hyrule to life on the big screen will be a monumentally difficult task, so perhaps the reason for picking Wes Ball as this film's director was his VFX expertise, and his portfolio of stories told in real-time virtual environments. The Zelda film could blend live actors into a movie rendered entirely in-engine, which might just be the perfect way to adapt this series. But ultimately, we just don't know enough right now to say for certain. But still, the director's skill and passion for 3D can't be ignored, and I'm sure we'll see this shine through in the final product. The concept of a Zelda movie is already incredibly exciting, and looking into the history of director Wes Ball only makes it more so. The fact that this man tweeted about this film 13 years ago shows that Nintendo haven't just found any old director, they're giving someone the chance to direct their dream project. But let me know what you think. Could you see a fully mocapped Zelda movie working, or would you prefer to see traditional live action? What do you think of Wes Ball's tweets and his history with this technology? Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.